All right, here at 6191 Bahia Del Mar, Unit 106. So here on the first floor, you've got the entry. This is like a little common area between the two units and then the other unit next door, that's unit 107. So heading in here, you'll note that all the flooring is the same in the living area. The only difference would be in the bedrooms and bathrooms. So both bedrooms are carpeted, but this is a much different floor plan than what we've seen. So immediately heading into the unit, to your left, we have a air conditioner installed in 2010. They had a hard start kit added to the exterior unit in 2015, which leads me to believe that if it ever goes out again, it has to be replaced once a hard start kit is put on it. I do recall that from my old property management days. The hot water heater is 2021 as far as the installation date. So I would say that although train ACs are very good units, you'd probably want to budget for a new one um, at some point. Maybe not right away, but something to consider. So here we have the hall bathroom. You have access to this bathroom from the hallway and also from the bedroom straight ahead. Right here to my right, we have the laundry. So two older machines. These machines look like they could be from my childhood because that's what these two Kenmore units look like when I was a kid. I'm just saying. <laughs> and that was a long time ago. <laughs> oh my God, I'm having deja vu. Anywho, don't mind me. Straight ahead, we have the first guest bedroom. The yellow room, this one is at the front. It's got a parking lot view. Good size room. This is a... Uh, a large king bed, but it's actually two twins. Looks like that are pushed together. Um, that's how the headboard is situated. So looks like you have options either to make this a twin room or uh, a large bed like they have it set up. Room for a nightstand and they've got a lamp on this side. They could, you could fit a small nightstand in if you move the bed over a little bit, there is plenty of room. Plantation shutters on the window. And these are updated impact resistant windows as well, which is I think a huge bonus. So you can kind of get a view of them here. They do have night locks on them as well. So you pop that in and out. And then also you can pull them down to clean them from the inside. Super nice. The shutters are a nice touch. Those are very expensive. All right, here's your television. Here is the closet for this room. All right, ready to go. Towels, blankets, pillows, an extra fan, extra space for hanging. Okay, tall dresser. The furniture is a little old school beachy. I'd say slightly Golden Girls. <laughs> Entering the bathroom through the bedroom. You also have access through the hall, as I mentioned. This one has a stand-up shower. All right, let's slide that open. So overall, the tiles are in good shape. There's a shower head and a grab bar to get in and out. Commode. Vanity. Me. My hair's a mess. It's hot outside. <laughs> Okay, old school Hollywood lights. And there is an exhaust fan. So that works. All right. So it looks like back here, maybe they've done some tile work or something. Someone chipped a couple of the tiles along the wall. But overall, looks fine. Doesn't look like there's any staining or any severe water damage or anything like that. There are some stains on the carpet. I'm sure when you had an opportunity, you'd probably replace this carpet, anywho. All right, headed out underneath the washer. I did notice the old rolled vinyl that they have under there. All right, right behind the front door here is, could double as an owner's closet, but you've got the handy closet, so the extra flooring, paint, and etc. 
cleaning products, and some beach stuff. Digital Honeywell thermostat. And here is the open living area. This I think was the most appealing part because this is the only unit we've seen with an open concept. One more set of lights. So we'll start here to our left with the kitchen. Three pendant lights over the center island here. I think the light switch is on this side. Not a ton of cabinets, but still plenty. There we are with the lights. GE dishwasher, granite counter, double basin sink. Dishwasher looks like it's in fine shape. Cabinets are nice. Ah, soft clothes. They are stapled sides, not dovetail, but they are soft clothes. So that's nice. And cabinets. So the top aren't soft clothes, but they do, they work. They get the job done. And Samsung microwave and looks like Samsung oven. Oh, great. It's in showroom shape. Love this movable island. I think that's really cool. It's a nice feature. And then also here, we've got our cabinets as well. Side-by-side -side GE black refrigerator. Super clean. All right. Give me another view. All right. So... Got a nice big dining area here. Great space, properly used. And then straight back, we have our family room, two sofas and a side chair, as well as a large ottoman. They do have the patio furniture inside. They've secured it just in case there's any storms that come through. Um, so let's actually go right here. All right, and then they do have a a nice impact glass sliding door here. I'll go on the other side eventually so I can get out and take a look. But that is a nice curtain. All right, so... Okay, nice view of the golf course. Can hear the cars. That may or may not be a big deal. Nice little outer closet. It's got some good space. That's great. It's perfect for the beach stuff. Okay. All right, and finally, let's head into the primary suite. To a flat screen TV here. We've got a phone. The sofas and the furniture out here are nice and neutral. Um, this is perfect for a vacation rental. I do like the updated ceiling fan as well and the bright light that is on that. All right. Shade is nice. All right, let me make it through this little maze here. <laughs> And while we're here, uh, this is not a sleeper, although that would have been nice, huh? Not this one either. Okay. Can't say that we didn't try. Here we have a storage closet in the hall. And this is the primary suite. So you have a double door entry to the primary suite. Head straight in. They've got some nice lacquered furniture. I don't know if you remember lacquered furniture, but my parents still have lacquered furniture. <laughs> I won't tell you that they're 80. <laughs> they would hate me for telling you that, but 
they do have blacker furniture. <laughs> All right. TV stand. Really nice shutters on the windows. So they spend a lot of money on window coverings. That's really nice. Great view of the golf course. You can't hear the road from the inside, which is nice. Only when you step outside or if you're sitting outside. This is kind of a view of the room from the corner. So the carpet has some spots in a couple of places. You can kind of see next to the bed. Nothing overwhelming, but I'm sure that the carpet would either need to be replaced or updated at some point. Here we have the primary suite, double sinks, drawers in the center, Hollywood lights at the top, but it's all nicely painted, it's clean. You have a commode, it's been sanitized, and the tub shower combination. does require two steps in, so they do have a safety bar. One day I would probably rip that out and just put a shower in for ease of use. And then primary closet. So extra items here. Okay. All right. And just head it back out. Nice open concept floor plan. It's a little darker on the inside because you don't have the side windows. So just the windows front to back. And it's kind of a dreary day out, but that's okay. <laughs> Our worst day at the beach is still a day at the beach. So, <laughs> all right, super. Thank you.